What's cracking, everybody? Zerfelros here. Rise and shine. It's time for the Sunshine Cup and go Battle League if you don't want to play Ultra League this week. Boy, we got a great alternative for you. It's Noctowl Cup once in all, oh, ladies and gentlemen. So let's take a look at the Sunshine Cup as we do with these limited metas. Going to take you through my top five teams and some of the rankings here in Sunshine Cup for Go Battle League. Let's see uh, what kind of meta Pokemon we have. Now, if I'm not mistaken, it's, I think, uh, is it normal? Flying ground. I don't know. I honestly I don't remember the typings. I just know that I looked through the rankings and this is what I get. So um, we have the top five are all normal types and they're all really strong normal types at that. You've got Nipidgeot, Noctile, Double, Vigoroth, and Diggersby. And then from there we start getting down into things like Larian Stunfisk and Gliscor. Uh Bomb Snow's on this list. Somehow Swellows made it into the top 15, just probably because of Brave Bird Sims. Honestly, this thing is extremely squishy and has absolutely no bulk to it. So uh yeah, and Shadow Swampert's on here. Swampert does exist in this meta, as does Obama Snow. So there's already, you can see, a semblance of an RPS triangle coming up here with Swampert, Obama Snow, and, um, I mean, whatever, Vigoroth, Noctowl, whatever you want to put up on here. But uh, there's some, there are definitely some interesting picks here that I'm going to try to highlight. I like Obstagoon in this meta. It definitely seems like an interesting pick. Chansey's number 34. If I see any of you running Chansey, I'm going to shame you all over social media if I can help it. Um, and then uh, there's going to be things like Trevenant's going to be in here. I'll rank all the way down at number 43. With all those normal type flying types, I don't really think it's gonna see a lot of play but steelix is a hidden gem down here i feel and at first i thought alolan marowak might be but then i realized the pidgeot and octal are going to be on every team so maybe not so much but i think the pilo swine could be an unsung hero in this meta because of that ice ground typing able to really core break the uh the g fisk and pidgeot slash noctowl cores that definitely exist in this meta uh nittle queen's here nittle queen's not bad can power through a lot of things even after the nerf and has earth power to deal with those pesky g fisks um, however it doesn't have nearly as good a matchup because that poison fang does not really carry as much energy through as it used to but then from there you know i think venusaur is another interesting pick here as well um and then from there we kind of get into some weird stuff so let's talk about the first team that we've got on this list here it's one that you've probably seen from several creators i think jonkus put this team out originally um I know that there's a squabble about who actually put it out first. I just know I've seen it on some YouTube creators. And whoever made it, shout outs to y'all. I don't know who exactly it was. I'm pretty sure it was Jonkus, but I could be wrong. And whoever it was, this team is still strong. Has an A for coverage in this meta. And honestly, when you see Pidgeot on your scorecard, I wouldn't really worry too much about wins or losses. Because a lot of these things that Pidgeot wins against are with a successful feather dance bait and a successful landing of the brave bird so that being said try to use a little bit of your context skill something i teach my students on metify which if you're looking for coaching by golly you can find a link in the description for metify where you can grab any of my courses um lessons live coaching it's all there um, and if you're looking to join a wonderful community full of people who are looking to get better at pvp or just having a fun time in a community uh, that also gets early access to all of my teams tips strategies meta analysis find that link for patreon in the description check that out i'd love to see you in that discord if you do decide to join and appreciate it if you look into it thank you so much so um this team is obviously really abb it's as abb as you can possibly get um swampert may or may not be the best lead here um but but certainly the uh, Pidgeot and Noctowl are super strong in this meta, obviously being ranked numbers one and two. And I mean, you could maybe even put like Diggersby if you wanted to, and that maybe would probably make the team a little bit more um, maybe dynamic thick. I don't know what the word is, but you could probably fit just about anything in here um, that beats like Galarian Stunfisk and be fine. So like Vigoroth, Obstagoon, etc. So you could put Obstagoon here. I just thought about that team too. Um, but other than that, like you get core broken kind of by things like Double, Vigoroth, and Diggersby. I don't know how on earth Noctowl doesn't win against uh, Diggersby unless Diggersby's got Quick Attack and Hyper Beam. That's all I got. So that's, I mean, it's ABB. You safe swap the Noctowl or the Pidgeot, and then you close with the other, and Swampert's just there as your lead to try and do Swampert things honestly so let's move on uh next team is probably a little bit more interesting here as we see uh that is definitely not the team that i put on the screen did i lose it 
Oh no, I think I lost it. All right, folks, we're gonna do an impromptu team builder here on the ch on the on the video. Um, <laughs> Obama Snow Double Flyer. Uh, as I build this up in in uh, in here real quick, let me just throw Obama Snow. So the essence of this team is that you're hoping to catch you're you're hoping to use Obama Snow to core break the Swampert Flyer team that I just talked about and. Obama Snow and Gliscor core together really well, and I put Moltres in here because I noticed that the moveset it carries is Ancient Power Sky Attack, and I feel like Moltres could be a really interesting thing to safe swap and lure out like a flyer or something that really doesn't want to see Obama Snow. So you might also even lure out your own Obama Snow, which I doubt, honestly, with a Moltres, but um could be a really interesting safe swap in this meta, and Gliscor and, and Obama Soda's core together really well. So let's see what the team builder says here. As being coverage, it's not exactly letter grade friendly. Uh, Pidgeot, you know, as usual, beats everything on the team, which, I mean, just finesse. I mean, that's all I can say. Um, Obama Snow only loses if it eats a Brave Bird and successfully doesn't shield it. So, uh, I mean, it's, it's Pidgeot, man. It's, it's just mind games all over. That's all you can really do. But um, you do Core Break, and then you've got things like, you know, you're pretty neutral, honestly, into things like Dubwool, you know, Vigoroth. You're pretty okay with Moltres. could probably handle it. I think Moltres just loses the bulk. And obviously, Charizard is banned in this cup. So Moltres is the, uh, you know, Moltres and Talonflame. You could put Talonflame in the back, too, if you wanted to. I wouldn't mind it. Uh, but those are really the only two, like, direct replacements. Team's a little bit messy in the Sims, as most are in this meta, unless I were to really go straight BBML. But I wanted to try and find some core breaking picks and build some teams around them so that you guys could really enjoy the variety that this meta might have to offer rather than being stuck with triple normal with Vigoroth or Obstagoon and double flyer. It just is no fun. So let's move on to this next team, which I promise is actually on the <laughs> is on my on my list here of, uh, of teams that I have on the video. So uh, Pidgeot with G Fisk and I think Dunsparce and Double are both going to be very strong safe swaps in this meta. Dunsparce, if you haven't already known, has Drill Run and Rock Slide and Rollout and gives it energy very, very quickly. You've probably seen it in some of the uh, Play Pokemon tournaments at this point. Um, Pidgeot and G Fisk are just like an ex excellent core in this meta. Like, look, A, B, 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 B. So there's really not much here except for the G Fisk itself. If you hit a G Fisk lead, that's going to be really tough. Um, <clears throat> I don't really know what you do there. I think you just bring in your, your Dunsparce and pray. Um, and then try to come in later with G Fisk with energy or shield advantage. I think that's all you can really do. Um, but for the most part, though, the team is super solid, at least as far as Sims go. Uh, Pidgeot does uh, beat most of these things. But again, that's going to be through virtue of Brave Bird slash Feather Dance. Um, if you want a more realistic simulation, you could put Noctowl here. And it would probably give you a more realistic way of what Pidgeot does and doesn't beat. But very different moveset to Shadow Ball and Sky Attack versus brave bird and feather dance so do that do with that what you will um but pile of swine as we mentioned earlier is one of the things that core breaks a team like this and other than that you get g fisk and pidgeot which are kind of neutral by themselves into this team with g fisk and uh you know pidge uh dunsparce has a ton of play with rock slide into the flyers in this meta so i uh, like it a lot and munchlax Chansey, Spinda, Stunfisk, Steelix, those are all kind of core breakies. But, I mean, honestly, you could probably throw Ufisk in, in, in a team and core break some stuff, too, if you see a lot of Flying Steel stuff. So, um, that being said, let's move on to the next team, which is a little more interesting. We're using the Venusaur um, Stunfisk core from Great League, and we're throwing Dubwool in on the save swap. Now, in most of these teams where you've got, like, Dubwool or Dunsparce or... You could throw like Vigoroth in there too. You know, something that has a really good dynamic level of play is like a normal type can really fight back against some of its harder counters. And Venusaur and G Fisk are really good as a pair because they cover each other almost perfectly as far as the meta goes. Now, uh, we'll take a look at this team here. You get an A for coverage, and that's all she wrote, really. Because look, if you see most of the stuff except for Blaziken, which I don't think you're going to see a whole lot of those, but. Everything with Blaziken gets covered by the Venusaur or G-Fisk, and Double is just super neutral, super dynamic, has payback for any ghosts. Could run Wild Charge on it if you want to, with all the flyers flying around. Um, core Breakers here, Gligar, Nidoking, and then after that, um, like, you get Pidgeot, but then again, like, Pidgeot is, is super, like, you have to land again. It's, it's, I'm, I'm ignoring Pidgeot for the rest of this, I can't do it. Um... 
Venusaur is a little bit sketchy, but you know, your double does have a lot of play, and then your Venusaur is obviously neutral. G Fisk, if it lands an earthquake, it does okay here. So you're looking pretty good as far as coverage. I think this could be a very strong team in this meta. Um, you know, you don't have an exact strong answer to flyers outside of G Fisk, but definitely think double could pull its weight as spammy as it is with double kick and body slam. Very, very strong. And then team five here, we've got a bit more of a <laughs> Uh, old school BBML sort of team. We've got Nidal Queen, double normal, counter user. So I think Obstagoon is going to be a really strong Pokemon in this meta. Um, if Ultra League is anything to, you know, to, to take in any ideas from, it's that the Obstructagoon match up into things like um, Noctowl and Pidgeot are extremely strong. So you can use that if you like on the lead or something if you want to if you think the Pidgeots will be on the lead but if you see him in the back Obstructagoon is a really good counter to Pidgeot gets to the Obstruct just before it would get to that uh Feather Dance or Brave Bird so very strong pick and the Nidal Queen is just like even though she's gotten nerfed from Poison uh Poison Fang she's still just able to power through so many things in this meta because the only things that really are here that resist Nidal Queen is uh the poison damage is really just going to be swampert and g-fisk there's not going to be i mean yeah i guess there's any any ground types really but i don't know how many of those we're going to see with all the flyers we'll have to see how the meta shakes out but i feel like this could be a really niche team to figure something out and you could easily throw you know something not nidal queen you could throw like tropius or you could throw um you know there's there's a bunch of things you could throw as long as you have a strong answer to something like vigoroth or another fighter obstacle double etc you're going to be good with the lead in this team. If you want to swap with the Nidal Queen, I don't mind it. Because um, Nidal Queen is not obviously super, you know, super good like it used to be, but it still does well. Um, can really put pressure on Pidgeot. Everything here is neutral into Pidgeot. And um, the Goon and Vigoroth are just super strong on their own. You see that you can get broken by the Gliscor, which is a good ranked Pokemon in this meta. Venusaur, as we previously just looked at, can also core break this team if, you're, uh, if your Nidal Queen can't quite handle it. And, uh, yeah, we talked about a few things. But if you can get the Obstagoon, if you use Obstruct, you can get that going. I mean, not in Great League so much, but definitely looking at, like, Cross Chop and, and Night Slash for this meta, probably. Um, but I wouldn't mind Obstruct if you wanted to give it a go, especially because you've probably got one or two laying around from Community Day. Wouldn't be a bad time to try it out because typically Obstagoon gets to clown all over the normal flyers like Pidgeot and Noctowl just because of... It being bulky and having obstruct just makes it really, really strong. So that's going to be the final of my top five teams. Again, you can switch out a lot of Pokemon in these teams for like and like. You know, you like this team, you just need a strong anti fighter. Um, and then most of the other teams you could swap out like Double, Dunsparce, Vigoroth. They're all interchangeable. So use them as you will. That's going to be it for this video, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Good luck in the Sunshine Cup. Let me know in the comments what you're planning to run or if you're already in the middle of Sunshine Cup. Let me know what you are running and hopefully i'll have a good team or two up for y'all next week in the videos again thank you so much for watching we'll catch you in the next one Bye bye